Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to explain and demonstrate how to get started when TotalFlow Prep is installed. We are also showing an additional tip at the end of the video how to make use of an external program. Once your TotalFlow is installed, you will find a group on your PC And I will show you what is installed. You got your license manager, you print the connector readme file, the readme file of TotalFlow Prep itself, two guides, and the application and the PDF driver setup. If you open up the setup guide, you have more details about the installation procedure and what you need to do before installing. But in this example, we already installed TotalFlow Prep. And what I will show you over here is some details about the PDF driver. After the TotalFlow PDF driver is installed, your Microsoft Office jobs brought into TotalFlow Prep will automatically be converted into PDF. If you didn't do that during the setup of TotalFlow Prep, you can always do it afterwards. What I will do now is I will open up TotalFlow Prep and the first thing I will check is my printer management. Now normally you can add a new printer, but in this case I will open up an existing one and you will see the entries you need to fill in. You have to fill in a printer name, make a choice of the printer language. Yeah, there's two options, a PDF, JDF, or a PostScript printer, the IP address of the printer, and the port number. In case of a PDF, JDF printer, the port number cannot be changed. It's always 1810, 8010. You also will see immediately feedback from the printer, yeah, SNMP feedback telling you the status of the printer. And in the file menu you see different items. The create new job, which you all will also will find in the quick actions. That's the same for open job. Huh? Or you use control O. The build job. or a new blank job. And the recent jobs which you worked on before. If we open up the user guide, you will find tutorials. There are two tutorials available and they are easy to follow. Yeah, The example of tutorial one, if we open up tutorial one, it will explain some general functions. Yeah, How to create a new job and how to edit. It will also explain that on the C drive, after installation of your TotalFlow Prep application, there is a folder called samples. So there are some sample files on your local PC installed, which can be used for the tutorials. And you will see there are different formats. You got a PDF, you got a TIFF, you got a JPEG. So that is already three different file types which is supported. So what we do now is we drag and drop the three different files into the build job wizard. And before we create the job, we'll show you that you also can move them. 
Yeah, if you want to reorder the files, you can still do that. You can even edit the page range yeah, if you don't want to add all of them and even the amount of copies. We create a new job based on three different file formats, a PDF, a JPEG and a TIFF. First start saving the job, give it a proper name. And I can save it as three different types. An RJF, the Rico job format, a PDF or a JDF. Well, in this case, you see that it doesn't support all characters in the file name. And I will save it as a RJF file. If I go to the job properties, you can already see that the job name has been changed. So once you have your total flow prep installed, it is a good moment to follow the assignment and get familiar with the basic tutorials in total flow prep. The next step can be to change the red six into another color. So what I will do is I will open up the final result, which you should have after you've done the tutorial. So you see page one up to page six. Everything is straight and in the middle, no spickles. And the last thing you can do is you can use an external program. So you will edit page number six, which is actually originally a JPEG. And in this example, I'm using Photoshop as an external program. And in Photoshop, I can use a special tool to select my number six. I can fill it with any color, but in this example, I want to make it black, just like the rest of the document in Total Flow Prep. So I confirm, I will exit Photoshop. He will ask me to confirm and save it. I will confirm in Total Flow Prep and you will see that the final result is that all pages are in black. Rico.